have so many different denominations. This is why we have so many different teachings about Jesus. And so let's get into this. Be knitted together in love and attending to all riches of full assurance and understanding to the knowledge of the mystery of God, both of the Father and of Christ, okay, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Now I want you to understand this. In Christ, in Christ alone is all the wisdom that you'll never need and all the knowledge that you'll never need. It, because whether it's God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, each one of them is an expression of God. And so when you look at them, I want you to see them. God, the person of the Father, the person of the Son, and the person of Christ. But the blessing of the person of Christ is that Christ dwelt among us and we beheld his glory. So when you look at Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7 where it says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. For us as, 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 as Gentile believers, we have to start with Jesus. Because Jesus gave us the, the, the best foundational doctrine. And then he shared it with his apostles. And his apostles shared it with us. So look what he says. Now this I say, lest anyone should deceive you with persuasive words. How many of y'all get something out of this? So then he says here. As you therefore have received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in Him, rooted and built up in Him and established in the faith, as you have been taught, abounding in it with thanksgiving. So he's telling them, go back to the faith, because remember, the finished work on the cross, Jesus when He had gave up the ghost, He said, it's finished. You don't have to, it, I, it's finished. Now all you have to do is put your faith in me. So he's taking it back to faith in him. I want you to see this is important. Beware lest anyone cheat you through philosophy and empty deceit. Now, the Bible, uh, I love Romans because Romans chapter 1 says, Man will profess themselves to be wise, but they will become fools. Uh, philosophies. Remember what philosophy is. Human reasoning. Human solutions. Uh, uh, human enlightenment. Uh, uh, human insight. Uh, uh, human wisdom. I want you to understand this. That God's wisdom will always uh, trump human wisdom. So, so this is important. God's wisdom will always trump human wisdom. So he says... Beware lest anyone cheat you with philosophies and empty deceit according to the traditions of men, according to the basic principles of this world. Now I want you to see this. And not according to Christ. Man's wisdom is always, always puffing itself up. So he says, he, he says this, the basic basic principles of the world. Now, what are the basic principles? What, some translation says rudiments. Rudiments. In other words, the routine ideas or, or, or man's ideas playing back to back to back. Wisdom puffed up. So now he says, don't be deceived by that. And, th and through philosophy. He says, for in him dwells all the fullness in Christ. Dwells all the fullness of, God, of the Godhead bodily. And you are complete in Him. So, I want you to understand, in the finished work of Christ, by faith, you are complete in Him. So, whenever somebody starts bringing in philosophies and telling you that you have to do something else to receive salvation besides the faith that, you, that God gives you that justifies you. Because God deals to every man a measure of faith. You have the faith to receive Him. To receive Jesus. Now if anybody adds to that, you have a problem. So He says, uh, you're complete in Him who is the head of all principalities and, and powers. So you don't have to keep talking about the devil. You don't have to talk to about I rebuke you and all of this stuff that people say in Christ. I don't have to rebuke the devil every day. All I have to do is put my faith in Christ. And, and if I put my faith in Christ, he has, he has all power over all principalities and he all powers, all, all, all the demonic forces. So when he says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. 
principalities, against spiritual wickedness in high places. I come to tell you, Jesus settles that part for me. The blood settles that for me. I don't have to keep fighting and all of this. Uh, and people are making a lot of money over this uh, uh, spiritual warfare and all of these different things. I come to tell you, I have a, a victory over, over all of that just through faith in Christ Jesus. And so I want you to see this. So now he dealt with philosophy. 